On this week's episode of the Fab Lab, the donut lassies, the donut dollies, and my very first Fab Lab field trip. Hey guys, it's Crazy Aunt Lindsay. We are here in the Fab Lab at Blue Star Donuts where my friend Stephanie, the pastry chef, is going to tell us all about why donuts are so fabulous. Hey guys, hey Crazy Aunt Lindsay. Hi. Welcome to the donut shop. Thank you. All right, you ready to make some fun stuff? Yeah. Sorry. Come on, let's go. behind the Blue Star counter. I hear that there are a couple of different ways to make donuts, yeast versus cake, and we're gonna learn all about those things today. Is that right? That's right. I can't wait. Let's break out the dough, get our hands dirty. Donuts are super scientific, and it's all in the dough. We learned in the Fab Lab Snack Attack video all about how yeast are living organisms fungi that eat sugar for energy, just like you and me. When they eat, they produce carbon dioxide, a gas, or as I like to call it, yeast farts, filling the dough with thousands of balloon-like bubbles that make the dough rise. You can see this in action and learn all about how and why it works in this episode I'll link here. Yeah, and then at this point, once we get them all trayed up, we're gonna put them in our proofer, and the proofer keeps the dough at a nice warm temperature, kind of makes uh, the best environment for the yeast to keep feeding and uh, to keep expelling all the, what did you say, yeast farts? <laughs> <laughs> Expelling all those yeast farts. I just wanna fry these up right Yeah. And actually, it's really interesting, like this is not dissimilar to the shape that the donut dollies would have used for their um, for their donuts. Yeah. They, they would have just fried this and then sprinkled it with powdered sugar. Donuts are about as American as anything gets. A delicious amalgamation of different cultures and a murky timeline of when and how exactly it all came together. You see, the roots of this tasty treat have been around for a long time, with sweet doughy cousins in places like France, Greece, Rome, the Middle East, and archaeologists to this day keep finding what seem to be fossilized remnants of donuts in ancient Native American settlements. But what we do know is that this dessert owes a few very brave women who served the First, Second, and Vietnam War for being solidified in the hearts and tummies of Americans. In 1917, toward the end of World War I, the Salvation Army deployed its first group of incredible women to join the American First Division for a little extra support. This group became known as the Donut Lassies. After 36 straight days of rain, and because, well, war is horrible, two of the ladies, Margaret Sheldon and Helen Purviance, decided to treat the boys to something extra special to boost their spirits grabbing whatever supplies they could to recreate a blended version of their respective recipes, flour, sugar, baking powder, cinnamon, and canned milk, they got to work frying up their dough to cheer up the troops with a happy snack, sending sweet smelling air wafting through the camps, served alongside fresh coffee and someone to talk to, reminding them of home. Fast forward to the mid 1960s and early 70s, and the American Red Cross deployed 630 members of their own crew of volunteer women in uniform sent to provide comfort and hospitality to the gents on the front lines of the Vietnam War. Dubbed the Donut Dollies, these ladies were not known to hand make their treats, though they did pass out coffee and donuts, enduring harsh conditions to do so. In 1938, the Salvation Army created its very own day to honor the Donut Lassies. The first Friday of every June is known as National Donut Day. Now you know why. 
This year, I'm going to remember to celebrate not just the donut lassies, but also the courageous kid sisters, the donut dollies, for their brave behavior. And you can too. Make sure you check out the links below for my favorite playlists, projects, activities, and games to make your National Donut Day extra special. Uh, my name is Stephanie Thornton and I am the pastry chef at Blue Star Donuts. When I was small, um, my siblings were very loud and rambunctious and definitely stole the spotlight a lot. And that ended up getting me in the kitchen with my parents. And my dad is a great cook and my mom tries really hard. Um, but she got me in the kitchen and had me baking to help me with uh, my fractions and to help me uh, just kind of find something to focus on and get a hobby. And it was really a lot of fun. Math is in everything, baking. It's in every recipe, you have to work the math to make sure that you're making the right amount of whatever you're making. If you wanna make 12 cupcakes versus 24 cupcakes, you need to make the math happen. So uh, math and science are super linked when it comes to this, and everything that you do is very on purpose. So it's, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Oh my goodness, if I had to say something to my seven-year-old self, don't lie to your mother when she asks you if you painted on the walls because the dog absolutely did not do it. <laughs> Our donuts are still in the proofer. While we wait, Chef Steph whipped up a genius idea to help us take our culinary measures to the next level. Making this delicious donut glaze could not be easier. I was stunned that all you need are three ingredients, lemons, powdered sugar, and poppy seeds. We zested and juiced our lemons with these super cool industrial strength kitchen supplies, but you could probably just use a spoon and a butter knife, with parental supervision, of course. to our recipe and instructions below. Um, this is kind of the, we call this piano fingers. Kind of try and be gentle because the donuts are really soft. talk about the yeast and the cake donuts. Cake donuts and yeast donuts are very different in the aspect that uh, the cake donuts wouldn't actually need to do what the yeast is doing right now. It wouldn't need to rise. We would use it right away. So it looks kind of like pancake batter once it's mixed. And then we put it in this big machine and it just drops it right into the fryer. So guys, we stopped off at my favorite party store to pick up a few balloons and some things to decorate with. I think we have way too many donuts to eat by ourselves, so we're gonna invite the neighbors over. Come join us. I found these amazing 
amazing DIY printables online that are for sure next level fabulous. The first are these donut umbrellas that you just cut and tape to dress up your favorite straws. The next is this adorable matching game that pulls triple duty as party favors and even can be turned into a garland. We were in a rush, so we kept it simple, just cutting them out and setting them up for the fun. Find links to both below. Alrighty guys, so we are all the way home. We've got our donuts, we made some decor, and now we're gonna have some of our neighbors over to help us eat up all of these amazing donuts. You guys ready to have your friends over? Yes. Me too. Come on guys. Yay! Hi, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me in the Fab Lab today, guys. We learned about donuts today. Oh. Oh.